the country around Snake Hill was always a rich area for us. We found gold several places around it. We reckon the source came from somewhere where, about where that red X is on top of the hill and it uh, moved down the hill towards the, the gullies in several different places. Here I show you where I reckon the gold travelled from the red X down to Moonlight Lead. On the way down, it passed through a bit of country that was a bit flatter than normal and a lot of the gold got trapped there. But most of the people that were looking for gold concentrated down on the bottom of the gully uh, where it ended up. But the trouble is it was too deep for most detectors because some of the shafts there were eight, nine foot deep. But we came back to this area that I've got shaded there and we got a lot of small nuggets up to four or five gram down to a quarter of a gram even. Another little gully that that gold ended up in is this one shown here with the close based reddish coloured dots. They were fairly shallow diggings, only about two, three foot deep at the most. Uh, trouble is most people with a detector concentrate on those areas and they get flogged year after year. I prefer to try and find out where the gold came from and then track back to it and look for little places where the gold could have got trapped. We'll just race across to Moonlight Lead to get our bearings and then I'll show you uh, another place where I found gold. This was a very nice little spot. We got some nice nuggets in there. We ended up calling it Rusty's Patch after my little dog. Uh, we'll have a look at it close in a minute. And here we are, we're zooming down into Rusty's Patch. If you notice on the right hand side there, there's a large pale green area. Well, that's where a lot of the gold ended up, but we couldn't get there of course because it was in a farmer's paddock and was all planted to oats. Uh, we got quite friendly with him, but uh, I wouldn't have ever asked him to go and dig up his oats to look for a bit of gold. As we zoom out of this, you can see our camp on the crossroads there with the red circle. We were there for oh, a month and a half and only six or seven kilometres out of Mariborough in Victoria. We were virtually right on the edge of the farmer's paddock, which is in that pale blue-green colour you see there. There would have been a lot of gold in, along the edges of that gully but you couldn't pick where the gully was anymore because it was all being levelled out and planted. Well that should give you a bit of an idea how to use one of these geological maps to find a bit of gold. The idea is just to get away from the, the gullies where people mostly go and look for the source and then track down and find out if there's any places where the gold could have got trapped on its way down to the gully. This particular map is uh, one and a half metre square. It was scanned at 125 dots per inch and it only resides on disk now. But uh, I used to bring it up on my computer, print out an A4 section of it and uh, use that as a working map 